Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a mirror image photo using Photoshop. Let's get started. First of all, click open here or go to file open and navigate to your photos. Mine are on Google Drive and my drive under photo and here's my photos for demos. Now you want to choose a particular kind of photo for this project and that's a photo that has strong lines that touch the edges of the photo. For example, let me see this photo that I took of the ceiling of a natural history museum that I went to. So it's all these really cool skylights that are making this pattern and it has really strong lines. All right, so over here in the layers panel, what we're going to do is unlock the background layer. You can see this padlock icon here. You simply need to click it to convert this into layer zero and unlock the background. The next thing that we're going to do is rotate this image. I am going to go to image, image rotation 90 degrees clockwise. Now you may or may not have to rotate your image. It depends on what your image looks like. Next, I'm going to double the size of this image by adding canvas size. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, and change this from pixels, click on the little drop down menu, to percent. And I will change this to 200%. Just type that right in. And I'm going to use these anchor points here to tell Photoshop where I want the canvas to go. So if I click this middle arrow pointing to the left, it will actually add the canvas size on the right. So let me click OK. And you can see what that looks like. So this checkerboard pattern is a symbol in Photoshop for transparency. And my image goes off the screen a little bit, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control or Command Zero, and that will fit the image, shrink it to fit the screen. Now I'm going to make a copy of this layer by holding down Control or Command J, and I have a copy. I will use the Move tool, which is the top tool in the toolbox, click and drag this image over to the side. Now what I need to do is flip it. So this time I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip, Horizontal. Now depending on your photo and the orientation, you may have to use Horizontal or Vertical. So Horizontal. Um, let's say I, I made a mistake and I need to undo that. Um, so one thing that I can do is go to the history panel right here, click to open it, and I can click to move back to the step that I, I didn't want. And then I can re, uh, try again. But this is how I want the image, so I'm going to leave it like this. Now you, you can stop right here. This um, could be considered finish. Or you can use some of the skills that you've learned in some of the other tutorials and add something interesting to it. So this photo has kind of boring colors. So I am going to click the Create uh, Adjustment Layer button and I'm going to put a gradient map on it. And I'll open up my color chooser here and hmm, let's see, how about, how about this one? And I'll click the color bar and make some adjustments to that. I'm going to add a dark green to that. And I'm going to try adding, how about adding an orange? See what that looks like. Okay. Now, if you have a really nice colorful image, um, you you might not need to, to do this to your image, but I think this looks a lot more interesting. So now that this is finished, 
I will go to File, Save As, Save to your computer, and I want to, I don't want to save over my original image, so I am going to rename this. I will call it Mirror Image. And I have to choose whether I want to save it as a Photoshop document or a JPEG. Um, it's a simple project. I'm not going to need to open it later. So I'm going to choose JPEG. And pay attention to where you save it. So mine is going to end up in my Photos for Demos folder. And I will click Save. I'll go ahead and leave the quality option at 8 and click OK. And the last thing that I need to do is add this to my Google Classroom assignment. So I will open my photography class, click on the Classwork tab, scroll down to the Photoshop Tutorials area. I'll pretend that this is, this is the correct project. Click View Assignment, Add or Create, choose Google Drive, should be in Recents, if not, go check in my drive and look through your folders until you find it. There it is. Insert, wait for it to upload. Click the turn in button, confirm that you'd like to turn it in. Turn in button, and that's it for this video. Have fun everyone.